Hello, uh, it's me, Max. Uh, I haven't uh, made a video in a while, um, so I'm here to post another one. Um, Sunday, uh, the sermon was on the end times. Uh, it was the first time uh, that I can remember in six years going to Christ Presbyterian Church that um, either Dale or Glenn, those are uh, the pastors, uh, mentioned um, the end times, eschatology. And uh, I found it really interesting. And I started getting inspiration to write um, this week as well. And I want to share a couple things that I wrote. One is a uh, poem. could be a song, but I can't sing, so I'm not going to sing it. Um, uh, called The Whore of Babylon. And another is something I felt compelled to write on Facebook. She fornicates with the rich and stomps down on the poor. While Christ demands sacrifice, they take more and more. They say they are the biggest givers to the greatest charities. They give out all of their excess and make toxic policies. While to many she looks pure as snow, but that is a facade. She's really a whitewashed tomb that the faithful should disregard. But nor her to your peril, for she is stronger than you think. You may call her teabagger, but she is Satan's strongest link. There were two before and yet one still. Jerusalem... In Israel, Roman Italy, the current one was born in Lynchburg, VA. They use words like patriot, God-fearing, and evangelical. But when the rising power comes, the beast that sides with hell. Now do I know the date or time? I'm not that arrogant, I'm not that kind. But what I do say is that we are closer, closer than we realize. Just keep alert, do God's kingdom work, and keep looking for the signs. I mean, as those who have been watching my videos know, I believe we are close to the end times. Also, I am not one of these left behind uh, pre tribulation premillennialists. Um, I am a premillennialist. I do believe in the tribulation. I do believe that uh, there's going to be a little seven year tribulation uh, where uh, there will be a dictatorship. Um, which will be very good for some, but very bad for others, and that it's going to come from the religious right. I based this on Revelation 17 and 18, which I made a video about it earlier. You can check that out, um, as well as um, reading Isaiah, Micah, and the other prophets, and see how close we are to ancient Israel and Judah, and I believe history does repeat itself and past is prologue. And I was at work and I felt compelled to write this. Um, actually, I mean, it felt like, I hate to say this, but it felt like I wasn't the only one writing. Now, I am not going to say that I'm a prophet. I don't want to say I'm a prophet if I'm not. And I'd rather be no prophet than a false prophet. But Jim and I talked about politics, about prophets. Um, basically speaking pleasant things to those who had itchy ears, and I believe the pre-tribulation rapture is one of those. But here's what I felt compelled to write, and I felt a wind helping me write on. Uh, I, did this yes I wrote this yesterday. I've come to accept that we are living near the end times. The whore of Babylon has taken over this election cycle. Read Revelation 17 and 18 and try to tell me that that doesn't describe the religious right in America. A theocracy is coming and it's too late to stop it. The Middle East is near a breaking point. There will be a major war in the Middle East. We will side with Israel and we will win. This will strengthen us as a nation and will help this leader grow even more worldly power. The first three and a half years will be okay. There will be persecution, gays, Muslims, atheists, liberals, Christians who speak up for the poor and against a corrupt world system um, uh, will be arrested and killed. And I do believe that there isn't going to be like one world government, but there's going to be many countries allied. Um, and I do believe that we in Rus Russia are going to be friends because of the religious fundamentalism that is happening in Russia over there. So I don't believe Russia is going to be a threat to this. China might. Um, it will be like Chile under Pinochet. It will be when the shaft and the wheat are separated. At a three and a half year mark, things will start to go worse and worse. Uh, this man will declare himself God or godlike and force people to worship him like Caesar. And anybody who doesn't play the 1% game of exploitation and dog-eat-dog dog will start. The rich will be okay during this time. 
But then the time of justice will begin, the time of wrath. The true believers, those who stayed true to the faith, who spoke up against the corruption, who helped the underground church, those will be raptured as Jesus returns and the wicked will be punished with the vials of wrath. But after all this darkness, there will be light, a world with peace, a world with no conflict, a world with no hypocrisy, a world with no greed, no hatred, a world of peace and love and justice with Jesus as a benevolent king. Now, I believe this. I believe this in the pit of my soul. Now, am I a prophet? I don't know. Is this going to happen this way? I don't know. I believe it is by my reading of scripture. Um, and I hope people watching this will take note of this. And if you are a member of the religious right, depart Babylon before it's too late. Um, God bless you. And if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below.